OK, quick tip time then. I'm going to show you not just how to correct a crooked horizon in a photograph, but also how to very quickly fill in the missing content that appears as a result of the cropping. So we can begin by selecting the Crop tool here. And a very quick way to straighten up a horizon is just to select the Straighten tool up here and just click drag to define where the horizon line is, then release. And that should get us a fairly level horizon. So far, so good. So we can go ahead and click Apply. But now we've got all this missing information around the corners of the canvas. So to tackle this, first of all, we want to move across to the Layers panel. And I've got my image layer here. If you're working in a document where you've built up some additional layers, perhaps some adjustment layers and so on, you just need to make sure you've got your original image selected. Then I'm going to go to Layer and choose Rasterize. And bear in mind, you can also do this by right-clicking on the layer itself and choosing Rasterize down here too. And all this does is just clip all of the image information to the bounds of the canvas, which is important for the next step we're going to be doing, which is the inpainting. Now, we could grab the inpainting brush tool here and go to town manually on these areas, but there is a much quicker and more efficient way to do this. First of all, we can go to Select, Alpha Range, and select Partially Transparent, like so. And that will give us an accurate selection of all the transparent areas. But if we tried to inpaint at this point, we would very likely get a slight seam between the original image and the new inpainted content. So to tackle this, we want to go to Select again, then choose Grow slash Shrink. And we don't need a huge value for this. I'm going to type in 5 pixels, for example. And that just grows the selection enough to overlap into the original content. So we can click Apply. And then all that remains to do is go to Edit and In Paint. OK, let's check out our new content. So I'll go to Select and Deselect to get rid of the marquee. That just makes it a bit easier to see what we're doing. OK, let's have a look at the sky. Good. The bottom here, good. The bottom right, good. And here, we've got a result which is perhaps not good enough for us, in which case we can then select the inpainting brush tool. I'll just pick a slightly larger width and perhaps just brush over the area you're not happy with to try and get a different result. There we go, that's better. And that's it. Just a quick tip for you. Hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out the other video tutorials.